Hey, my butterflies. So I'm about to show you, as promised, my cabinets and my pantry and my deep freezer to show you that I have to restock everything, y'all, everything. It is a working pantry. So I thought I'd start here and welcome you to my channel. If you are new here, please go ahead and hit that red button, subscribe to the channel, join the family, become a butterfly. Um, Turn on your post notifications, like the video, comment down below, leave me some information, y'all. Help me out with um, getting my preps together and trying to get my three-month pantry together. I appreciate y'all again, and let's get into the video. So right here, this is where I keep my um, pastas, my spaghetti sauce, my noodles, all of that stuff. I don't know why I put this up there. But anyway, so I have to see, I am running low on um, spaghetti, but not fettuccine. I am running low on the elbow noodles and the panini noodles as well. Next cabinet, we have our um, tacos and, well, the shells, the salsa, the seasoning packets for it all over here. We don't really eat a lot of tacos, so I'm still doing good on those. Um, I might get a couple of more of the salsa though, because I do like those with my chips, even if I don't eat tacos. And I still have some, um, what's the sauce? Tiger sauce. And I'll probably get another couple of bottles of that. Well, probably just one other bottle of that and the sweet chili sauce. And yeah, I'm about out of this right here. I gotta get some more coffee made. I don't drink a lot of coffee. Why is this bread up here? See the kids, they be everywhere y'all, everywhere. And so I have to get some more um, coffee made. That's some rice that I canned. I have my teas. I have my single packets of my Folgers coffee. I have this box that's already open and I also have a box that's not open so I don't, undecided if I'm going to get another box. I probably will though because it's about to get cold. And this is my son's protein section. Then over here I have my distilled vinegar, my white vinegar. I have my ketchup that the kids have out, my olive oil which I have to restock on both of those. Then over here is my seasoning. Y'all, look at how messy it is. The kids have been cooking, and so they just move everything everywhere. I'm going to have to go in and reorganize again and also add to it because I'm out of some things. So this section is my baking section, and I am low on everything. I just bought this bag of sugar, but I got to get some more sugar, white sugar and brown sugar. I have some honey. I need one more of those. I had, oh, my milk for baking evaporated milk. I'm gonna get a couple more cans of those because the holidays coming up. I'm trying to get all of that stuff along with my um, other stuff for my dressing, my poultry season, my nutmeg for my pies, all of that good stuff. So this is my baking shelf up here. I have my baking powder, some vanilla for, you know, I put my vanilla in my cake mix sometimes. And these are yeast packets. I'm not a big baker, but hey, just in case I decide to try, here I go, I got it. And I also have my muffin mix. I need to get some more, I have about three right there. I have a box of brownies, box of cake mix. So I'm gonna have to up on those and my icing and all of that stuff. So up here I have my pie shell, I have my flour, I gotta re-up on the flour, and you saw the hot sauce right there, I gotta get another bottle of that. 
And this is my pantry. It's not very big, so that's why I have things in my cabinet. So this top shelf here, that's like my cereals and all of those things. So I'm pretty good. Well, no, I got to get cereal, but I'm good on the pancake mix. And then that's flour, so I got to get at least two more bags of flour. And then I have my rice and grits on this shelf along with my cornbread um, mix that I use for my dressing. One good way to start your pantry is to buy one extra of whatever you're getting. So I have two of the brown sugars. I'm gonna get two more of those. I have two of the, the not really Pam, but the cooking spray. So I'm gonna get two of those. Um, I also have two jars of peanut butter. So I'm gonna buy one more of those because that one right there in the back is a full one. And then I have barbecue sauce, which I'm running low because I've been barbecuing a lot lately. So I'm going to get a, uh, at least four of the barbecue sauces. I have two of the mustards, two of these right here, hamburger helper uh, meals, and the tuna tetrazzini meal. I have two boxes of those as well. Now, yeah, I need to get another one of those mayonnaise. I only have one left. So down here is my soups, my broths, my vegetables, canned vegetables. And I try to get two of everything, like I said. And so I've been stocking up. So I have about five of the okra and tomatoes because those ran out the last time um, the stores were, you know, not stocking up like they needed to. I have my packs of tuna. I might get some more of those little packs, but I also need to get the cans because I'm running low on those. And then these are the Vienna sausages, which somebody bust them open. So I gotta re-up and get another bag of those. Those are sardines. I love the mustard ones. I'll probably get some more of those from Aldi. Down on this one, these are the things that I can, y'all. My strawberry jam my grape jelly i canned these myself for the first time this year they turned out great this is the rice that i canned in the oven i have like three of those and then plus you'll see oh i gotta get some more cranberry sauce y'all gotta get it gotta get your thanksgiving stuff if you haven't already so those are the mac and cheese boxes um broth and with these right here, the noodles, I don't understand why the kids will open up one pack and then open up a whole nother pack. When you, I'm gonna start keeping some of these in the room upstairs. I'm gonna get a shelf to put those things on because that makes no sense. I also need to get more drinks for the kids and snacks, y'all, because I'm out of snacks. I mean, they're here every day, all day. That grits box was empty, so what I'm going to do, well, yeah, I'm running low on my canned goods, so I'm going to have to re-up on that. But back to the grits, I'm going to buy the three-pack from um, Sam's Club, and then I'll just put some in those containers, that the little small containers that I have for storage. I'm going to get a couple more of those cans as well for the holidays. Now to the deep freezer. This is a 20 pound bag of rice that I'm going to freeze and take it out and then freeze again, then take it out. And then I'm going to put it in a food grade container. Um, I've been putting it off. I haven't done it y'all. So these are my meats and they are down to the bottom y'all we have gone through it we process these chickens ourselves, and so we have like five of them here in our deep freezer and then we have the rest of them in north carolina um that's my chicken livers for my dressing so i have two of those i'll probably get two more of those those don't cost a lot and so this is my refrigerator freezer that's in the garage and it's running low as well. So I got to get some more frozen vegetables, more frozen fruit. This is where I usually keep my frozen fruits and stuff at. 
and fish and I'll probably get one more bag of the fish that fish is not cheap and so I bought these little things the orange juice because I felt like they last longer than just buying the regular orange juice I got like three of those I'll probably get three more they only like a dollar and something and so all of this is fish that my son caught himself and so we have that stored up one day we'll do a fish fry and then we have other um, meats down there that's frozen and I'm gonna take you to the refrigerator in the house I should have did that first anyway it's running low as well so this is all I have in here I'm telling you these kids are eating me out of house and home this is like um, cut okra so I love cut okra so I'll probably get another bag of that I don't really like broccoli as much as I like okra and so yeah as you can see we got to go grocery shopping we have to restock re-up redo everything i told you in the other video so thank y'all for joining me here on time nights tv i appreciate each and every one of y'all for being here and remember it's a tommy bites life